hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is brenda j hey y'all hey y'all happy friday today is friday today is july what is it i don't know it's july <laughs> i am headed on my way to work this is a new patient that i'm going to be working with i think i'm working at assistant living i'm not sure 100 percent yet y'all because i never worked there before but i do want to say this disclaimer before we start this video before i start the chat this video would not just be car chats anymore you guys i'm not doing that anymore um but most likely i will start the vlog like this because you know i work a lot but um this 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 car check thing it's not gonna happen you're gonna see more in the vlog okay but also i want to mention that um if you haven't seen the last two vlogs maybe three vlogs the last three vlogs you have to go watch those vlogs before you understand what i'm saying because you're going to be so confused about what i'm about to talk about if you haven't seen those three vlogs yet because I'm telling you, you're going to get confused. you got to understand the history of why I decided to do certain things. But anyways, you all. So, I'm letting you guys know now. Um, I would not be posting every two days anymore. It would be two videos a week. Because I, I want to be able to give y'all lengthy vlogs. And if you guys want more than car talks or work vlogs, then y'all going to have to allow me to you know record a little bit more so i'm going to record two days today is friday saturday and i'll drop it sunday um i do work all three days actually i do work i get off at eight o'clock tonight i go in at 10 i get off at i go in at 10 i get off at eight so um like i said this is a new patient i don't know who this person is i never work with this person but I'm excited to see because honestly babe I hope it's good because I booked all the appointments with this person so we're gonna see I normally book someone once and if I like them I'll book them again later on but I decided like this is nine minutes away from my house so why not just take it so we'll see actually I'm supposed to be on the west side um, today but I actually switched me because this was closer to my house and I didn't want to do all that driving I did get my tired yesterday fixed um i got paid yesterday so i got my tie i got paid from both jobs yesterday actually y'all when i tell you i still got thank you i was so happy to see that so let's girl let's get to so like i said if you haven't watched the other videos go because you're gonna be confused so girl um oh my god i'm super excited so um something is going on your behind the scenes that y'all don't know about which i will see soon i will record behind the scenes um but something big is happening for my family because of my story um so that's just a whole another thing that i'm not going to talk too much on it but i just want to let y'all know y'all going to be getting some vlogs so when y'all do when i do drop them y'all won't be confused what's going on another thing yesterday y'all i was supposed to vlog yesterday i was off yesterday i was supposed to vlog yesterday but i had so much to do y'all like i couldn't do it so let's start with yesterday and then we're going to talk about what i did this morning because like i said i don't have to be working to 10 so i'm four minutes away from work y'all god darn it okay so let me talk fast okay so um we're gonna start with okay is that making i'm making a lift okay so basically um yesterday i went to go get my tire fixed I went to the gas station and then I went to the furniture store and I bought a living room set, um, I bought a dining room set, and I bought a bed for my room. Oh, I'm so excited! Yeah, I'm so excited to decorate my freaking house. If you've been following me long enough, you know I say this all the time. I have never made my house into a home before. I never felt 100% comfortable and I felt like I was chasing something, like I was chasing home. I was chasing this feeling, that fulfillment. But, you know, a lot of people was like, well, maybe because, you know, you need to buy a house. It's not yours. It's not what you want. It's not that you all. It was never that. It was my mental health. My mental health has never been the way it is now. Now that I see life so different, like, why would I move? Do y'all know how much I pay in rent, girl? Do you know how many people wish they was paying my rent? How many bedrooms I got in the area? Girl, I'm by Target. I'm 40 minutes away from Target right now. I live by Target, y'all. I live by TJ Maxx. I live by Chick-fil-A. 
If you live by Target, TJ Maxx, and Chick Fil A, baby, you know you on the nice side. My kids' school is amazing. Like it's diversity. When I tell you it's diversity, my my children barely have black friends. You get what I'm saying? Like it's diversity. It's amazing. Like. I pray to live somewhere like this. Like when we was on the north side of Jacksonville, we was on the good side of north side of Jacksonville. But the diverse wasn't, it was just full of black people. It, it was not a diverse thing. And I wanted my kids to get a full diverse because I was able to get a full diverse. You get what I'm saying? Like my kids, I want them to experience that. I'm two minutes away. I wanted them to, to experience that. So, um, so it, it's just a blessing that, you know, God listened to me. Because honestly, your, my husband and I was like, you know, let's get a one bedroom for like $900. And we all sleep in that one bedroom. Nobody got to know. So I checked my section eight yesterday and I still on the waiting list. But the, oh, that's what this is. I know for a fact that my, my, um, my apartment is going to go up in rent because the area is amazing. And it's like. How do people just get in this area? Like houses are being built. Um, I told you I was to buy TJ Maxx, I was to buy Chick Fil A. Anytime you see a Chick Fil A, you know for a fact you're in a good neighborhood. Like that's just you don't never see Chick Fil A in the hood, cause like only Chick Fil A on the north side is the Chick Fil A that's in River City, and everybody know that's like Oak Leaf, not Oak Leaf, um, Ocean Way. Ocean Way is amazing. I actually wanted to get a house one time at Ocean Way. Okay, so we ended up, um, while we was doing like the process of the furniture thing, we decided to go ahead and um, go to the Chinese buffet that was next door. So we went out to eat as a family. You guys probably already seen that. Um, Y'all probably already seen that video because I did like a short and it was like the girls to eat like these octopus and was going to take them to Dollar Tree. So we took them to Dollar Tree, let them get whatever they wanted, got a few things for the house. We didn't go to shopping. We didn't go like, we went grocery shopping for like the week. We didn't like grocery shop, grocery shop. Um, so after that, we went home, cleaned up or whatever. And then me and my husband, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Girl, losing weight would, girl, losing weight would change everything. Like, the, my, my husband married a stripper. Like, <laughs> losing weight changes everything. But anyways, y'all, I am at work, but I'm trying to give y'all this, 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 diff, this break, whatever it's called. This diff break, whatever it's called. Okay, so, um, today... I signed up for a gym membership. <laughs> so yeah, I signed up for a gym membership, y'all. I signed up for a gym membership and I am officially a Planet Fitness member. Um, I also, I ordered my husband wedding ring, y'all. <laughs> my, I don't, I, I feel like he have a clue, but at the same time, I feel like he think it's something else that I want to give him. So I moved because me, and my husband have all access to my bank accounts. He have all access to my emails, baby. That's we locked in like that. Um, so it's like I order it, so it comes tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. But I believe when he get it, I'm gonna be at work. So I'm gonna tell him. I think I'm gonna tell him not to open it. Yeah, cause I wanted, I wanted the way I want to give it to him. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to record it, <laughs> but I recorded aftermath if we not sleep. But um, my husband, um, he deserves it. He bought me a wedding ring, even though I really want my wedding ring. But he bought me mine. So it's in his room, so I can keep it up. Um, and my husband has been waiting for a very long time. So, um, I did get his ring off Amazon. It's a beautiful ring. It's black. It goes with everything that he wears. I actually want to get him a gold one too, just in case he want to switch up his outfits and stuff like that. He'll have his wedding band. But my husband has been waiting for years for a new wedding ring. So I ended up ordering a size 10 and then I realized that no it just didn't make sense so i went to because i remember me and my baby went to the flea market and it was a, a ring place it was a real nice ring place and i had them to measure his fingers you know he thinking that we're gonna get a ring right there and hell no them rings were like a thousand dollars but i did that because it was my way of getting his ring size 
So I went on Amazon. I ordered a size 10 on accident. And something said, Brenda, check your phone. So I checked my phone. My husband wedding ring is size 10, 11. So I was like, Shh. And I went ahead and canceled the order real quick and bought the right one and moved everything to like promo so that he won't see that what I ordered. So um, I'm super excited for my husband to get that package. But like I said, I want to be there when I give it to him. So I'm going to tell him not to open it yet because I did tell him to go ahead and open it. But maybe I should record it while I'm at work and let him open it. But I have to go, y'all. So let me hurry up and show y'all really quickly what I got. Okay, so I um, waited until the last minute to tell me. But I found out that this facility does, some people do have COVID. So I got these masks to protect myself. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put two of them. Because at the end of the day, y'all, I do have kids. I do have a husband that I need to protect. And also, y'all know I'm HIV positive. So I also have my, um, I also have my, my um, immune system to protect. So I'm going to wear two masks. Also about gloves. Oh my God. Yeah, I left my freaking wipes. I left my wipes. But I did get my disinfectant spray. So I had baby to buy me these wipes so that I can wipe everything down in my patient's room and I forgot it at home. That's why I wish that my husband would have dropped me off because like I said, it's literally down the street from our house. Okay, so I did get me some tuna crackers for lunch. I'm here for 10 hours. So I got a fruit salad and I got a fruit cup and some water. So like I told y'all, I do take my my weight loss very seriously. I'm gonna take my hand sanitizer just to be safe. Um, but my my scheduler told me she was like, Brenda, put a mask on. Some people did get COVID there and you know, protect yourself, wear a mask. So for 10 hours, I'm gonna be wearing this mask, y'all. But okay, y'all, I just had to update y'all. I, I did do a membership. I ordered my husband wedding ring today. Um, I respond back to a business email today that can change. I don't want to say it can change our lives, but um, it's a great opportunity. The money sounds good. Um, so I'll keep y'all updated on that. But I'll see y'all. I don't know if I'm a reporting site. Like I said, I never worked with this person before, but we're going to see how it goes when I go in here. So I'll see y'all if I can. I do have my other phone I can record on because I'm not going to pull out my Drop on this flexing nigga. He from Tennessee. I had a thought. She be with this shit. She told me, wait, be I say for show. Baby, let me know if you wanna eat. She like bomb. You already know. Just put your girl on fleet. I'm like, cool, I can do that, boo. What you want some shoes? Jimmy Choo, what I had back to. Red a baby, but she get the smile. She ain't used to this. She ain't used to shit. I'm just laughing. Could have been up the way I put my left. Could have been the driver, the way I pushed the whip. You a hoe, could have been a bitch, the way you throw a bitch. But fuck that, right back to the script, cause this a major lick. He got bricks, plus his neck and icy, and it matches wrist. Now it's like six. Told her hit his phone, meet her in the whip, but he ain't go. But he ain't that slow, say meet him at the store. I'm like, cool, let him run his move. Do what he gon' do, cause this. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda J. Hey y'all. So we're not supposed to be in the car, y'all. I'm just gonna let y'all know right now. Um, I recorded when I got off work two days ago. Clips y'all saw earlier, I vlogged when I got home. I went to TJ Maxx, I showed you guys what I had, but I looked at a hot mess and I just did not feel comfortable 100% to put that clips inside this video. Um, I want to update you guys what happened these last two days. A lot of drama has happened with my job, blah, blah, blah. I have to work today. I have to do a 10 hour shift today. Today I did not go to work because I told her I am not going back to that facility while people have COVID. I didn't feel comfortable. My immune system. So she, everything she was saying, y'all, honestly, it was making sense. You know, she was like, this is the job. This is what I signed up for. Yes, I made sure I be positive. Yes, my immune system, but I'm going to have to wear my mask to protect myself. I'm going to have to take the precautions to, to protect myself. But this is the job that I signed up for. And it just, it just made me realize, like, you know, I can't quit or I can't give up when I'm, I'm not feeling it or stuff like that so I'm kind of in a hot seat right now because I did not go to work yesterday 
so I told her I was like have you found I texted her last night I was like have you found somebody to take my place she was like no so I knew I had to work I already knew I was gonna have to work today because she wouldn't be able to find somebody last minute for the weekend I was upset that she told me this the day of that people had COVID kind of found out the entire floor had COVID kept cleaning kept wiping everything down in my patient's room so that I would not get sick or we would not get sick so that was frustrating other than that yesterday all i did yesterday was did my baby hair half of the overhead i started my locks i did half of my head i did half of her head not an easy patient um he gave me he he girl he he made me work for that money honey like he kept pulling his private out in front of me he kept um doing the most he kept trying to get out the bed it was just a lot girl physically mentally I was just so freaking drained um, but I'm headed to work even though I'm a little late but I'm gonna get there to go back here but I have to do my job this is what I signed up for and I was like thinking about like Brenda you want to get in the medical field this is part of the medical field even the challenging parts of it you know and I was just thinking about the times that people did work the nurses nurses assistants doctors if they work when it was COVID how do they protect themselves they say mask up so I keep my mask on for 10 hours y'all the only time I put my mask down when I was eating um and then I heard put my mask back up so yeah I brought my cleaning supplies with me this time so that I can wipe everything down because I am not playing with COVID like I'm not playing with you baby you yeah. Y'all know I lost my dad due to COVID and I just do not play with COVID because of that. You know, um, I do not have the COVID shot whatsoever and that's because of my father, um, my stepdad, he took the COVID shot while he had COVID. He didn't know he had COVID, he died. So, and then he was a diabetic on top of it. So I just, you know, it's a no for me. Like losing my dad was the hardest thing that I ever had to, to endure in life, so. The next upcoming vlogs, after this one, y'all, the next upcoming vlogs will be moving vlogs. So I will go ahead and start the moving vlog series. I am not moving, but I am starting over fresh in my home. So I'm gonna take the next couple of days off because I want to focus on clean, deep cleaning my house, um, getting prepared for the furniture to come. I need to start painting. I need to start switching out appliances. Like I am getting a new refrigerator and stove. That is my one of my main my main goals. After I'm doing a lot of projects, everything is not going to be able to be done in one day, and that's what I have to tell my ADHD self that you can't get everything done in one day, Brenda. But you can definitely try to get some stuff done the day by day month by month so i'm gonna try to do two rooms every month um and right now my focus is the girls room oh i missed miss my turn the girls room and but see that's the thing i'm between the girls room living room and my room so those are three main rooms that i really want to focus on um but I'm gonna do one room at a time, so my focus is probably gonna be the girls' room because they have school coming up, so I wanna have their stuff organized. Um, I wanna have their clothes organized, their shoes organized, their room looking cute, they get them a new bed. All of these things I wanna make sure they have, so when they go to school, they don't have to worry about nothing, I don't have to worry about nothing, so. I will see you guys later, cause I'm about to go and work. Hey y'all, so I'm just trying to go to the gym for the past few days, and it just have not been working out. For me to go to the gym, um, I've been like a little frustrated with myself about things. Um, I talked to one of my friends yesterday and she definitely like talked to me, gave me some insight about life. Because I am 27, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm learning to be a woman, I'm learning to be a mom, I'm learning to be a wife. So having that friend who can sit there and talk to me, encourage me, you know what I'm saying? Because you just never know what people are going through and to just have that friend that you can go to and talk to like especially having multiple friends for multiple things that's how i am i have friends for multiple things like i know if i wanted to talk about god or you know what i'm saying if i wanted to pray and stuff like that i know i can call my friend passion passion is also on youtube and instagram if y'all don't know go make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel but i know i can call passion if i want prayer if i want 
you know what I'm saying, the encouragement from God, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that, I know to call her. Um, this particular friend I called, um, me and hers is similar. We got the same kids, oh same God. age group. Of course, she got some kids that's older, but um, her kids, like, that's living home, they're my kids' age group, so she is older than me. She's 35. I'm 27. And that's one thing I love about my friend group is all of my friends are older than me. <laughs> and then I have another friend. If I want to go out to eat or if I want to go hang out and leave the husband and kids home, I know to call Yana. <laughs> so it's like, I'm just grateful for my friend, my friend group because... Baby, and then my best friend, um, I haven't talked to my best friend in so long, and she had a comment on my TikTok, and I was like, this is my motherfucking best friend. I miss my best friend so much. We both got married, we both got kids. She doesn't live here anymore, so it's just like, <sighs> I miss her so much. Like, so, so, so much. And I was so happy when she reached out to me. But I definitely have been slacking on my prayer life. I need to get that together, baby, because I don't know what's up with that. But I need to get it together. Um, it's so much to do in my freaking house. So the maintenance people had came here, and they said that they're going to have to get someone to come out to do the AC. They're going to have to get someone to fix the girls' electricity in a room. Um, and we're trying to get the house together as well but i told y'all before that i'm gonna be starting moving vlogs and stuff like that um but i've been trying to convince myself to go to the gym um because i bought the, the gym membership but i was supposed to go with my older sister who is also my best friend but she kind of chicken out on me a little bit and i don't charge so hard because me and my sister have the same conditions unfortunately we got up from my father so i don't charge it to her heart i just know that I just need to do stuff on my own. So if I really want that motivation to just go to the gym, I'm just gonna go. And hopefully one day she come around and says she wanna go too. But um, it's a lot that we have to do in this house. We have to deep clean the house before all the furniture get here, before all the stuff we get for the house. Um, my friend, um, she was telling me that she had some stuff that she was trying to get rid of. I need to come check it out. I wish I would have known that before because I done bought all this furniture already. I could have saved so much coins and just went and got some furniture for my friends. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, so she got a whole living room to try and give it up. She got a whole dining room table. The table that I actually wanted, she's trying to give it up. But I already bought some stuff, so I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah. I don't know. I might return the dining room table that I got and get the one she got and just buy some chairs. But I still will be more money because then I will have to buy the chairs as well. And the chairs is more expensive than the table. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, y'all, another reason why I did it that way because the delivery people, the ones have to bring it and set it up. Um, and we don't have nobody, my husband don't have nobody to help him go get the stuff, load the stuff up and come back. He doesn't have nobody. So that's another thing, the reason why we went to the delivery route of buying furniture. But um, when I tell y'all, we have so much work to do. I'm gonna show y'all the ghost room. So let me show y'all, let me take this off. I have to redo the entire ghost room. Like, oh, it's so embarrassing. They destroyed this freaking room, y'all. I put so much time and work in this room. Okay, so we're gonna start in the closet. Girl, I'm going to paint this entire closet. This closet is horrible. They swear that hole right there been there since we moved in, which I knew that's a lie. They broke every toy box that they have. Look at the wall, y'all. They sat there and peeled the paint off the freaking walls and pull all of the y'all watch me put this together they peeled all of y'all so let me show y'all what i'm planning on doing so i'm planning on going to home depot and get some paint to paint this wall then i'm gonna rebuy these and get pink and blue and then on this wall i'm thinking about getting the blue tape and like doing stripes of paint Either doing stripes or getting, um, which I most likely do stripes, um, the paint because we are planning on staying a few more years here. Um, but 
I'm just trying to get this together. So the vision that I have for the closet is repainting the closet, putting the dresser over here, um, hanging up their clothes right here, and their shoes on this side. But it's going to be on the floor like in a thing because their book bag can hang right there. So that's the vision that I have for the girls' room. The girls' room is horrible. I actually wanted this to be my first project, but I don't know because last time I started in this room and they destroyed it. So this side over here is supposed to be the dining room area, but I'm going to do some wallpaper that I have that I found that Taja did on her living room. And I'm going to put, I think I'm going to turn this into, um, either I'm going to put the dining room over here or I'm going to do like a desk or something. I really wanted the dining room table to be right here. Um, and then, but I'll the living room over here. But I really wanted the dining room table to be right here. That's so why I wanted a long one, but I actually have a square. Um, that's it, y'all. I guess I'm going to start another vlog because I'm doing a moving series. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for following me. My name is Brenda J. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, even though it was, yeah, whatever. But the next upcoming video should be the great videos. But I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Bye, y'all.